During the pandemic, emerging data showed an increase of numbers of violence against women. United Nations women label this as the shadow pandemic. In 2018 and 2019, even before the pandemic, women from different barangays in Zamboanga City reported experiencing violence. In 2020, the year when the pandemic struck, the reports decreased. The restricted movement of people had affected the reporting of abuses. <laughs> This is Lisa, a mother of five children with her eldest being 16 years old. She is one of the many victims of violence against women in Zamboanga City. During the pandemic, with five children to feed, Lisa sometimes let herself go hungry so all her children can eat. Okay lang sabihin ko hindi ko makakaon kay gusto ko lang ang mga bata kainin lang. Sa pagka-pandemya din din malisod gayo. Igual tang buskahan gayo para po dinong kumain. Ang nakikita ko yung effect ng pain blender effect ko. Mira ba dito pa effect siya pero hindi nandito pero sa manera tapos yung jembe. In April 2020, a total of 312,245 unemployed workers were recorded in Zamboanga City. With unemployment, numbers of families were experiencing financial problems. <laughs> Nung pandemic kasi maraming nawawalan ng trabaho. Buro yung, yung mga tao, yung mga asawa nila, uh, walang trabaho, walang pera. This is Jen. She worked as a laundry woman for many houses during the pandemic. She is also a victim of violence against women in Zamboanga City. Hindi siya lang pera sa akin, sabi ko wala pa. Kasi dapat doon ako nakapira doon sa nanay ko, sabi dapat siya ma'am na magigay sa akin, hindi ako na ayun na nga, sunti sa akin. Gabi pa lang, punta na ako agad. Kasi sabi niya yung ano ko, yung kaibigan ko, punta ka agad sa ano, sa police station, tapos baka na para graduate, para graduate na yung ano yung anak ko. At ano nangyari sa aking gabi, sabi ko, mama, ang dami mo tutuwa. Kinasunto ka ng kaya ito mo luluwa araw-araw. Gabi-gabi -araw. nung luluwa ito. Ang gabi na punta kami sa nag-flatter ako para hindi. Tapos, pagkabukas, doon kami sa barangay. With RA 9262 Anti-Violence Against Women and Their Children Law, also known as Vow C, Victims can file charges against offenders. Pag uwi, every Friday, sweldo. Tapos expected ni asawa na may darating na bigas, may darating na pagkain. Pagdating wala, lasing pa. Nagyaw-yaw-yaw yung asawa, then binugbog. Yun na, 
ang ginagawa namin, pwede, pwede mag-complain, then mag-file ka agad ng BPO, Barangay Protection Order. Priority namin din is mapailan ng kaso yung asawa para hindi na talaga niya ano. Even once lang ginawa niyo, pailan talaga siya ng kaso na. In Pausi, we have abuses to be considered sexual, physical, psychological, and emotional, and economic abuse. Any of those will constitute violence against you. And that is punishable by law. Lisa and Jen's cases fall under economic and physical violence because of the destruction of household properties and financial depravity. These victims, though, agreed to settle in their respective barangays. We reach out to the Valsi desk of the barangay where Lisa and her family reside. This is what the representative had to say. Ang akala nila yung pagsabi ng mga masasamang salita ay eh normal lang. Hindi nila alam na nagkakaroon na sila ng depression, ng anxieties dahil doon sa mga pinagsasabi ng asawa nila sa kanila. Which is, they already don't know that they are already being abused, verbally abused by their partner. Yun sa mga babae na akala nila normal lang na binibitawan sila ng mga masasakit na salita ng mga kanilang mga asawa. Akala nila na normal lang na sinasampal sila. Uh, hindi po yun normal, no? Hindi yun normal. Uh, pwede po kayo magsampa ng kaso. Sampahan nyo yung partner nyo o yung sinong gumawa sa inyo nun, no? Kasi, once na hindi hinayaan nyo lang ganyan yan, mas lalo pa yan lalalim. Ah, uh, Let's say, ginawa niya once, pinagbigyan niyo, then masasanay siya. So, hindi dapat. Yung advice ko, hindi dapat pinapabayaan yung mga ganong actions. Kasi hindi lang uh, sila yung magsasuffer na kababaihan, pati rin yung mga anak nila. In a study done for the Commission on Human Rights Regional Office in Zamboanga City about violence against women, there were no recorded vow cases in 2020 compared to the 33 cases in 2019. This is a result of the lockdown restrictions with the victims prioritizing economic survival rather than their safety. With hundreds of cases reported on violence against women in Zamboanga City, only a few were solved in court. Many were settled in their own barangay. In Zamboanga City, where half of the population are Muslims, couples in Muslim-dominated barangays with marital conflict involving intimate violence between lawfully married or common-law spouses were most of the time resolved following the customary law as prescribed in the Sharia. Data shows that incident reports were received at women and children's protection desks in their respective barangay police stations. Moreover, incident reports were also received by the Sambuanga City Police Office. These reports indicate the presence of injury, damage, or other forms of violence. However, these remain as incident reports and were not forwarded to become VAUSI cases. From an observation standpoint, VAU focal persons point that one factor which hinders the decision to elevate reports to court is that the victims often opt 
to preserve relationships. That is between her and her spouse and for her family. Another prominent reason is that the victim wants to avoid passing on trauma and depression upon her children. So, ang advice ko, wag talaga. Kaya naman natin mabuhay kahit wala sila. Kesa naman, anong gusto nila? Mabuhay na uh, may pagkain na maibibigay yung husband. Pero, uh, ganun naman, emotionally affected ang kanilang mga anak. And siya mismo. So, uh, come to think of it, anong pipiliin mo? So, ganun yung dapat na isipin. Ang may bibigay kong advice sa mga kababaihan na ganun, isipin talaga ng mabuti. Hindi dahil sa sila yung nagpapakain sa atin, eh, hahayaan na lang natin ang usuhin tayo. With the prevalent issue of abuse victims normalizing physical violence at home, Valdez officers struggle in resolving the crisis. Yung mga kaso, hindi namin pinababayaan yan. Every now and then, Ina-advise namin yung mga WCPD namin sa mga 11 station na tanggapin ipasibo, ipalot talaga nila. Kasi pumunta nga sa atin yung police kasi hindi na nila kaya nun. So, they need intervention na rin sa ano o, oh, sa police. Parang, ano ba yung tawag din? Pagod na ba? Pumupunta na sa police. Yung mga iba nga hindi na pupunting takot pa rin. Pero we encourage them na magpunting talaga dito. Sa mga physical violence lang, nakakalungkot isipin na tayo dito, ginagawa natin at case build up tayo. Tapos, uh, in the end, magsisete lang sila. Kasi ang sa isip nila, sino ang, sino ang bubuhay ng mga anak ko kung makukulong yung asawa ko. Usually, yun, ganun talaga ang nangyayari sa atin. Uh, we still have that culture. Eh. No? But uh, in our advocacy, we want to end that culture of violence. We really call out for report. You report that because that is not supposed to be. Do not follow that. That is not the culture. You are not to suffer. The men and women are on equal footing. And then violence is not tolerable. Vow survivors from 28 Barangay Vow C Desk in Zamboanga City were accommodated. Accommodation, food, legal, paralegal, psychological, and security assistance were provided by different concerned agencies. We, we do provide cash assistance. We do provide put assistance. And for most, we do counsel, uh, provide guidance. I think uh, they should not be in a situation which they believe that uh, this is just uh, normal to us. We are opening their minds. We are raising their awareness. That's part of our assistance. CSWDO partnered with different agencies from WCC, DSWD, and ZCPO in conducting campaigns and programs that are needed for VAUSI cases. So we usually cater to the needs of the women who are in crisis situation, uh, like physical and economic abuse, they are victims by their husband. Not only that, the women, but also including their children. Not only their children, even children who are victims of child abuse, sexual, physical, and other types of abuse, we cater them. Jen still works as a laundry woman and is still living with her partner. Hindi naman okay naman. Trabaho naman siya. Halimbawa, may pakikiyaw siya isang linggo. Halimbawa, linggo. May pakikiyaw siya. Hindi siya nang liga. Asa po na. Nakarako, nakarako siya naman. Lisa is still living with her children and her spouse, Nat-Nat. Kami na ito. Sa barangay. Barangay naman kami una. Because um, ulitin niya na ako si ate, pag inulit pa, ala na kami diretso. Sige, del, sige, sige, sa del gobyerno, tupo del gobyerno. Kasi din yung mga hindi din yung bedroom kabit kami. Sa gobyerno, tupo ka ate. Sige, hindi lang agro kabit ka. Sige, mga kapag-arabi ate. Hindi lang babae ang ina-advocate namin, pati yung perpetrator, pati yung asawa. Kasi sila kasi ang mga perpetrator eh. 
mga would be perpetrator kaya magkailangan ipasibol mag-asawa po punta sa mga ano namin mga programa namin sa mga dialogue study para hindi lang one-sided hindi lang puro sa babae tapos yung asawa hindi niya alam uh, marami nga talaga yung mga proyekto ng NGOs and I really admire and appreciate na ang CSWDO hindi talaga nila iniiwan ang VAUSI Uh, always ready yan sila. Actually, we, uh, the Bowsy person, focal person, may parang hotline yan siya. Every time na may ano, tinatawag niya yan. Tinatawag niya yan kaagad sa CSW. In January 2021, employment rate rose to 96.4% from 76.1% in April 2020. A total of 641,069 workers had returned to work with the gradual reopening of businesses in Sambuanga City. In 2021, GCPO data shows an increase in the reports of violence against women. The increase in numbers can be an indicator of the effects of the campaigns done by different agencies, working together to empower silence victims to speak up. This has been Alkaiser Baydin, Reina Shose, Paolo Nessa, and Martha Bernalves, your, your Peace, peace journalists. journalists.